Now, brothers and sisters in the Lord, again, as I have said while ago, hold on to Him. He hears your cry, He sees and He feels your pain. And He is the God that is not able to do it. The God that is not able to And this God who is so powerful, who is all-knowing, is not from a distance. He is the omnipresent God. Amen. What does it mean? Huh? God will never, never leave you. In Hebrew 13, 5. He will never, never leave you, nor forsake you. And in Matthew 28, 20, I will be with you until the end of time. And if you will continue the, the book of Psalm, Chapter 139, if you will continue the reading that I, read, I just read, no? 139 verse 7, let me share this as well, because again this is so beautiful. Are you still okay? Yeah. <laughs> now listen here. In verse 7, where could I go to, to escape from you? Where could I get away from your presence? If I went up to heaven, you would be there. If I lay down in the word of the dead, you would be there. If I go away beyond the east or live in the farthest place in the west, you would be there to live me. Amen. You would be there to help me. I could ask the darkness to hide me, or the light allow me to turn into light. But even darkness is not dark for you, and the night is not as bright as the day. Darkness and light are the same to you. You created every part of me. You put me together in my mother's womb. Amen. Hallelujah. So brothers and sisters in the Lord, okay? Hold on to the promise of God. This God who loves and cares for us is the God that the God of all impossible. Huh? Hold on to that. <coughs> now you know what, my friends. Okay, we believe on this. He's the omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent. For us to go deeper in understanding this God who loves and cares for us so much. Let's.